Hey everyone, it's John Morley and welcome once again to my channel. Positive vibrational waves. Just finished a great workout here. And um, getting more on the theme of affirmations, I want to talk about a couple that are really important. It can really change your life. One affirmation is using the word, we used I am yesterday. We're going to do uh, living. So I am, then you have I'm living a successful life. I'm living a wealthy, abundant life. I'm living a healthy life. I'm living a life of freedom and choice. I'm living a life in control and creating my destiny. I'm living and controlling my life. I'm living a life where people respect me. So living is one. There's another one I wanna share with you besides living and that's feeling. I am feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling energetic, I'm feeling energetic. So when you feel things, it actually can change, uh, as we said, your physiological state. So feeling is very important. Living is great because that is a state of now, it's a present state. Feeling is what you're feeling now, not in the future. What you're feeling today, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling abundant, I'm feeling energized, I'm feeling full of life. Okay, these are great kinds of affirmations that you can write out when you use the word, I'm living, okay? You don't have to use the word I am, you can just use I'm living, uh, a little shorter, and it still works because it has the contraction I am, but I'm living, so it's a different type of I am, but by using the living word, it creates a little more feeling. When you put the word feeling into it, it really energizes your mind, and your mind just gets overpowered by all these amazing emotions that are incredible. I'm feeling spontaneous. I'm feeling joyful. I'm feeling thankful. And you say those things just a few times and you see how much you're gonna change your mind. If you weren't feeling great and you just say, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling wonderful, I'm feeling abundant, I'm feeling thankful, I'm feeling joyful, I'm feeling energetic, I'm feeling full of life. And you keep saying these things. Remember I talked to you about this many times before. The neuroplasticities in your brain will connect other uh, neurons back and forth and creating pathways from the left side and the right side. And that is going to create um, more action and more viability in your body. Because remember I told you, when you change the physiological state of something, like the way you're standing, it changes the way you're feeling. So if you can implant these things into your subconscious, you are on your way to telling your brain that that's how you're gonna feel because you are feeling it right now. Your brain doesn't know if you're not feeling it, it just knows you're feeling it. Because remember, when you think of something, you actually do result in that thought. Now, so the uh, I'm feeling, I'm living, those are two amazing things. Tonight's gonna be a pretty short video. Uh, we have uh, basically Saturday and Sunday left for affirmations. And Sunday's a real special one that I'm gonna share with you, but I'm not gonna tell you tonight. Uh, again, we've got lots of amazing things that uh, are gonna keep happening. And as you start to realize that these things you're creating in your mind, they are slowly going to cause little sub-modalities in your brain and body to attract these things. I'm gonna use an example right now. Um, you know don't look for a white car don't think of a white car and all you're gonna see is white cars right so what we focus on is what our uh, perception is on the best way to think of this is uh, many of you used uh, Windows before uh, Windows 7 Windows 10 etc uh, or even if you've used a Mac there's something called focus so focus on a window is when you put your attention on that window in the computer and that's the process that is actually going to be working with the mouse, etc. When we focus our attention on something in life, that is actually the attribute or attributes that we're actually going to be uh, achieving in our life. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, gee, John, I said I'm positive, I'm this, I'm that, but it's not happening today or it's not happening tomorrow. You gotta believe, okay? Desire, belief, and expectancy. The first thing you have to do is throw all doubt out the window, and you have to believe and you have to have faith. You have to have all desire, all belief, and all expectancy that what you're doing is going to work, because it is going to work, 
all right? I already told you how the memory technique works, and I told you how don't think of this and don't think of that, and guess what happens? Your body is connecting to those things that we are starting to focus on. Just like when you click on, there's 10 windows on the screen and you click on one window and that's Word, or you click on another window and that's Firefox, um, or another window and let's say that's Excel, your program puts, the mouse puts the attention on that program and even though all these programs are running, maybe you can see them in the background, but that's the one your computer has the attention on and that's the one you're actually controlling. So when we put our attention on something and we focus on something, that's actually the one that we're gonna be controlling, that's the one we're gonna be drawing near. So what am I gonna leave you with tonight? I think the important thing is, is that all affirmations are great and you're gonna keep learning a few more even tomorrow being Saturday and then some real big ones on Sunday. You have to realize that when you use affirmations and you use intentions, they are going to be like a signal that draws you towards something. It's going to keep you focused, kind of like that lane keeping assist I told you about. It's gonna keep you on your track so that if you deviate, you're gonna know that you're off your track and you're gonna get back on your track. So that's what, that's what this does. So how is it that one can program their brain and they become a different person? Or let's say somebody going to the gym that never went to the gym before and suddenly gets addicted to the gym. Well, it's a habit, that's number one. But your body gets so used to having that that when you don't have that, it's like, hmm, something's wrong. We didn't go to the gym tonight. Or we didn't, and, and your body's be like, this isn't right, I gotta run that program, we gotta go to the gym. So things like that are good programs to have. They're really, really good. They're what we call good habits. Bad habits are things like uh, maybe you're, you're younger, maybe you wore socks and, and you're always pulling them up because maybe you had a, a pair that uh, had a, a bad band on them and then you, you pulled that one up and then every one after that, you just kind of kept, you kind of kept doing that and then you just kind of got in that habit. All right, so that's a bad habit. So good habits are things we wanna repeat and things that are actually gonna help us draw us to success. Bad habits are things that are actually gonna detract us from our vision and pull us away from success, all right? Now, how is it that an affirmation has so much power on us? Well, it's really simple. When you just think of something with all your heart, all your might, and all your soul, your body does everything it can in your mind to draw you to that and draw you to that reality. So when you have a reality in your mind, you see your mind doesn't really know that it's not here yet. It doesn't matter if it's not here yet. Your brain sees it as here now. And as long as your brain sees it as here, it's here. It may take a little while to show up in the outside world, but you know, you're creating those steps. You're creating those things that are happening in your brain, like conversations, maybe it's certain conversations with people that maybe you wouldn't have had or things you would have said or wouldn't said. Maybe something like, you know, being control or the fact we said that, you know, I'm, I'm always uh, being attracted to people that have a two-way street. And maybe something when you see people that don't have a two-way street, maybe you have a different persona or you have a different uh, set of words that comes out of your mouth. Maybe things that don't normally come out of your mouth and it comes out of your mouth because now you're realizing you're running that program and it's gonna be like you're on autopilot. So I think this is the part that's really amazing and you have to trust uh, in your body, because your body is an amazing, amazing system, amazing set of systems, excuse me. And the more that you can, like I said, start to trust and believe in this, you're gonna see that you're just naturally going to attract the things that you want in your life. It is, it is really that simple. But a lot of people make it complicated because they're trying to figure, well, how do I do this, how do I do that? And they all want it to happen tomorrow. The truth is nothing happens tomorrow, um, but you can draw things that can bring you closer. Now there are times that you can get to manifesting things and there are people that manifest things in 24 hours, that's great. But that means that you're in alignment with those things. So when you're just starting out, things are not gonna manifest tomorrow. I, I don't wanna uh, rain on your parade, but you have to realize that you have to first get good at manifesting. So you know, manifest things like a penny, manifest things like uh, a free cup of coffee, or a free drink, or maybe just manifest somebody saying hello to you, or manifest someone inviting you to dinner, or manifest someone giving you a thank you, whatever it is. And when you start to realize that you have the power to manifest these things, you can start to manifest something a little bit bigger. Anyway, I hope this affirmation session tonight about extension of the um, affirmations now of living, I'm living and I'm feeling, help you to have another great tool in your toolbox 
to give you the power and to empower you to be a more deliberate creator. Uh, my name is John Morley, and I want to thank you once again to tuning into my channel, Positive Vibrational Waves. And of course, if you like my channel, please be sure to tune in uh, by uh, clicking on the subscribe icon at the bottom and clicking on the notification icon in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, of course, I wish you a very happy, healthy, and may all your nights, hours, minutes, seconds, and microseconds, and nanoseconds be filled with the most positivity, tranquility, abundance, and master creation that is ever possible and may you have the abundance of a billion times so that you can create with the littlest amount of effort and it truly is possible remember ladies and gentlemen if we change our words we change our thoughts we change our thoughts we change our minds and if we change our minds we will in fact improve the quality of our life and it is what we want now change our words change our thoughts change our thoughts we change our mind we in fact we change our mind we will, in fact, improve the quality of our life, and that is what we want. Just realize that things that are happening right now in your life are today, but they're not necessarily going to be tomorrow if you focus on the life you want to have. Again, I'm John Morley, and thank you so much for dropping by my channel, Positive Vibrational Waves, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow with uh, another tip on how to do affirmations to make your life an even better one and make you a better person than you were before. Have a great night.